Gavin Hood did a movie that wasn't pointless, shitty, or incredibly underwhelming. Hey guys, this is my review for Eye in the Sky. Now, I wanted to see this movie mainly because I actually didn't know that Gavin Hood was uh, attached to it as a director. He is a good director. He's done Tootsie and the guy who was the writer for this film did a film a cup back just it came out just after I finished high school called 5 minutes to have 5 minutes in heaven which had James Nesbitt and Liam Neeson. If you've never seen that movie, it is a very good movie. Either way, Eye in the Sky. Now, it was about drone topics, again, and what was funny is it totally made me think of Good Kill, which, as of last year, was one of my most popular <laughs> reviews, which is so weird, because, I don't know, that movie was so meh. Like, it had great ideas to it, but it didn't really pay off. This film is literally one whole, one tiny little section of what Good Kill was. The whole film is about a operation in which there's tons of people involved. That was one thing that was cool. This, this film shows how many people are involved in one operation. People in London, Kenya, uh, US, two areas in the US, the prime ministers, uh, political officials all involved with these two targets and they're in this house and what they're worried about is that they will leave because there are suicide bombers inside preparing inside the house and they want to take it out however they're worried about collateral damage including this little family that is working right next to the house so the whole film is literally 12 angry men except with about a drone strike there is literally all this com political and uh, humanitarian sort of conflict with dialogue and the whole point of the film is finding whether it's morally right to do what they have to do and also it's got a great last performance from Alan Rickman he's really good in it I think he's good in basically everything he does but I very much like this character in this film he has a very stoic he basically he's seen enough garbage to know what's going to happen he really wants to just get this thing done um, but on the side he does understand why people are angry but he knows that they can't he's seen enough shit to realize that they must make a sacrifice in order to prevent further atrocities so and then Helen Mirren same thing it's basically a conflict between militaristic ideals and political ideals and just the idea of what is right and what is wrong because Aaron Paul is the operator of the drone and he has to try and deal with the moral the moral challenge of having to fire while there is this little girl that is in the vicinity. So the movie plays out kind of like how you would expect, however there is so much more to it in fact of just the whole aspect of how everyone has to be convinced to go the right way. There are people who are not with it. Like I said, it's 12 angry men except with a drone strike. The acting is very good, except for this one little British woman. She plays too much of the humanitarian character. Like, I understand that they had to have a complete negative to it, but in the end, she's the one who is the most emotional about the whole thing. You know, I don't know. I, th I thought that was a little bit odd, the, e the end part, but that was it. That was my only nitpick. The rest of the film is very engaging. However, if you were to watch this a second time, you'd be bored because you basically know everything that's going to happen. But this film had a lot of big actors in it, not only Alan Rickman, Helen Mirren, Aaron Paul. Also got the guy who is in uh, Captain Phillips. He's really good in this too. Otherwise, the film plays out basically like almost a TV movie or an episode of 24. That's the one thing that I kept on thinking is like if 24 had been like this, I would have stopped watching it because it got so retarded after a while. But I like this film. Admittedly, there are parts that you might find a little bit dry here and there, but what I did enjoy was the overall aspect of how many people are associated with one operation, and especially an operation of this size. And the moral ambiguity of it, before the final images, there is something that happens that I actually was very, like, oh, that's interesting. The idea of radicals. Uh, what happens in sort of this sort of situation and I like that so in the end I'm gonna give eye in the sky a 5 out of 7 I think it's a good movie honestly I think it's very well done I don't know if I'll ever see it again to be honest but I did enjoy every aspect of it I love seeing Alan Rickman in a role one last time and I think that 
Yeah, it's 12 angry men with a drone strike. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I don't know if I'll have another one before I go. I hope so, but here's hoping. Anyway, see you later.